to Farming Live Australia. Today's video is supposed to be about things that I've learnt. Well, let me tell you, I've had to learn a lot. I suppose one of the things I've learned is you've got to learn to laugh at yourself. Because if you didn't, you'd be crying a hell of a lot. And you've probably heard of that fella called Murphy the Optimist. Well, when he wrote all that stuff, I'm sure he was hanging around and watching me. But I'm still here and I'm still doing it. I haven't gone broke, so I guess over the years I must have worked out a few things. <laughs> One thing I've learned is that the farm can be a dangerous place and no amount of personal protection gear or risk analysis or risk assessment or filling out forms gets around that. So before you set out to do your jobs, you need to have a bit of a think about a lot of these things. Well, she's starting to rain today. One thing I've learned is it's very important to put all your gear in the shed, otherwise it just deteriorates from the weather. Gear's expensive and you gotta look after it or it'll cost you a lot of money. You know, a question I'm often asked living on the farm is, don't you get bored? And the answer is no, we don't get bored. You take a lot of pleasures in some of the simple things in life, like just sitting in front of the fire with a nice cup of tea when it's raining outside. Sometimes I'll just sit in front of the fire with my old knife and my bit of wood and, you know, I'll carve a bit or something. Oh, quick, get a bandage. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, another thing we've learned is to entertain ourselves on the farm. Another thing I've learned about over the years is guns, or rifles. Now, you know, you see these people from town and they're bleeding hearts and they'll tell you, oh, guns are dangerous, they kill people. It's a load of bloody poppycock. A gun's no different to a hammer, or a hacksaw, or any other tool in the right hands, they're perfectly safe. John? John? Can you come and help me please? Crikey, what the bloody hell? just shows you, you've, you've always got to treat a gun like it's loaded. Uh, yeah. oh, buggedy, eh? uh, hmm. Another thing on the farm that I've learned is how to operate machinery, whether it be hay balers or tractors, bobcats, backhoes, loaders, you name it. You get to drive them on a property. Here I am on the loader cleaning up, cleaning a track and you know this is the sort of thing that we do all the time. Operating machinery is not inherently dangerous, but you've got to learn about it and you've got to keep your wits about you. Yeah, whether it be driving a truck or flying an aeroplane, it's just everyday business on the farm. We've got 80 kilometres of dirt to go across before we get to the bitumen, and at the moment the council is doing roadworks along here, so a bit of luck the next few trips I've got to do because I've got to do probably six or seven trips in the next couple of months. Hopefully the road will get better each trip.
it's operating in a nice sunny day in a good paddock or delivering hay on a bogged down muddy flooded road we do it We can handle them all. We'll see you later. Oh, Bloody hell. Another thing I've learned about is chainsaws. Of course every person with a pulse loves a chainsaw and I'm no different. Like every other person on the land, life's not complete without a heap of chainsaws. Chainsaws are a bit like guns, you know they've got a bad reputation but oh no, it's definitely not deserved. If chainsaws were dangerous the government would ban them. And of course everybody trusts the government. One thing I will say about chainsaws, they're very unforgiving if you don't stick to certain rules. You know, you you got to be careful. Like they they're not, you know, they can be a little bit touchy, but as long as you stick to the rules, perfectly straightforward. Yes, I probably worked out by now that I'm a pretty dab hand with a chainsaw, and I just thought I'd give you a few tips. Number one tip, safety gear. Don't show them I haven't got any shoes on. Put it off. Now, when you're going to use your chainsaw, obviously make sure it's full of fuel and oil and, you know, abide by all the safety things. And today, I'm going to show you how to chop this tree down. So here I've just got a little saw and in a minute I'm going to get right into it. Put the old choke on. Well start her up. Oh, bloody hell, huh? Yeah, we'll start her up. Yeah, we'll start her up. Bloody chainsaw. Well, I've come to the end of the video. Hope you've all enjoyed it. All joking aside, the farm can be a dangerous place. One thing I'd like to mention is that these last two videos have been a collaboration between my channel and a few others. And I'd like you to have a look in the description and just check out the other channels. I've, they're all listed there. And you'll probably see some sensible ideas off them. Not a load of rubbish like I've given you. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.